Don't even start with me. Don't even say it. Don't you dare say it. Don't say it. Don't say it. Don't, don't say it, okay? See these? See these? Don't say it, okay? Don't even, don't say it, okay? We are opening the Ravin, Rav, Ravnica Alliance, Allegiance, Magic the Gathering box thing. It's a bundle with 10 booster packs, absolutely insane. I went to Target today and I basically wanted to test if they had this price check thingy and I was like, okay, let's uh, let's let's see if they can do a price check or whatever and basically, or a price match, that's what it's called. And basically you can get cheaper products as long as um, other places offer those products uh, that are close by, so like Walmart or anything like that. Um, so yeah, we are opening Magic the Gathering, but I do have, oh, these energies are so, so random. I do have, uh, these cards, these, these Pokemon cards to hold you guys over. Ooh! Holographic Cliff Fairy. And then some trainer cards in the back. But yeah, I, uh, I've got a lot of background with Magic the Gathering. I, I played Magic the Gathering. Magic the Gathering was the first card game that I actually played. I got into Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh first, just collecting and looking at the cards, but Magic the Gathering was the first card game that I actually got into, I actually played, and it was all thanks to an Xbox 360 arcade game with Magic the Gathering. But without further ado, let's jump into this Magic the Gathering. It's kind of like an elite trainer box, basically. It's just a, a bundle. You get 10, 15 card packs. You get a player's guide, a bunch of lands, a life counter thingy, um, a premium foil version of each basic land and then a box. It's literally just an elite trainer box. And you know who's missing out on these trainer boxes are Yu-Gi-Oh. And recently, I kind of was forced to get into Yu-Gi-Oh. And this channel is, is, Jesus, God. Ugh. 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 Okay, this channel is, uh, oh God, dude, I have so much stuff on this desk. I, I was organizing everything, basically, and so everything's not, everything's unorganized, kind of still. It's just a big unorganized mess. Um, I, I've been forced to get into Yu-Gi-Oh, like in terms of the card game. I've always been into Yu-Gi-Oh, like the show, and I did collect some of the cards back in the day. Uh, but yeah, because of that, Yu-Gi-Oh needs to get one of these amazing bundle boxes, okay? That's what they need. Oh my god, what the heck? Okay. Alright, there's a ton of stuff in here. Let's uh, let's check it all out. So, we've got a player's guide, which I guess shows card number 260 to 272 are exclusive to the Planeswalker decks. These are legal for tournament play. So, okay, so this is kind of, it's literally just like Pokemon, except for this I think is made by Wizards of the Coast still, and Pokemon is made by just the Pokemon company. But like I said, freaking love Magic the Gathering. I can play Magic the Gathering all the time. Oh, what the heck? Okay. And this is, I guess, a box to store things as well. So you get two boxes. Uh, I'm assuming that there's nothing in here. Yeah, this is just a box to store things. Uh, but Magic the Gathering is the one and only game that I completely understand in terms of the rules and um, at least the older rules. Uh, oh my God, dude, that's a lot of packs. Um, but I, I, I really understand the car, the game a lot better than I do with the other games. Alright, so it comes with a little box that we can collect things in. And you gotta remove this top so you can put your cards in there properly and it can close all the way down. These boxes are always super cool. What the heck? What the heck? Alright, so I'm basically going in this blind, but if we do want any luck, we're gonna have to put the... The Dansk coin in the background. Ten packs of cards. You get um, just these random things talking about how to actually play the game, which is pretty cool. Uh, I like that they put that in there for those of you who uh, don't know how to play the game. This game is a little bit easy. It's pretty easy to use. There are the foil lands in there and then just tons of lands. Out of all the games, Yu-Gi-Oh, Pokemon, and Magic, those are like the three, I guess, biggest card games that I know of. Um, Magic the Gathering is the one game 
that I, I know I can make a deck from scratch. And if there are any new rules, I would just have to learn them. So like, let's say they have something called lifesteal. And that's something where if it hits you, it can take HP or something like that uh, away from the, uh, the opponent and you can like gain the HP or whatever. But basically like, I don't know, any new type of uh, move set or any new type of uh, like skill that is added to the game since I know the game so well and just so incorporated in my head I can just easily uh, make use of that skill of <laughs> Fennekin's lit Obama snow rare and a holographic infernape not a bad pull but all in all in terms of collection I think Magic the Gathering is probably the card game that I don't really care for collecting all that much. But then in terms of uh, playing, I think it's the number one game that I would love to play and I like playing. Anyways, this is my first Ravnica Allegiance booster pack. I have no idea anything about this set, what's new in this set, but let's open it up. Let's see uh, what's in this. Let's see if we get anything rare. I know that there are like mythic cards. There are um, commons, uncommons, rares, and then mythics. I don't know what the card trick is, but I think, yeah, there's a token or something on the back here. So those are our tokens. Anyways, uh, yeah, I, Magic the Gathering I played when I was in, like, the beginning of high school. So, and that, the artwork on the cards are actually really, really nice and really, really pretty. But in terms of collectability, I absolutely love collecting uh, Pokemon cards. And Magic the Gathering cards are more just, you know, I like using them when I'm playing against people. And I feel like I can explain Magic the Gathering better to anybody and get them into the game uh more easily than anybody else, than any other card game. Yu-Gi-Oh, I feel like it's easy to explain if you have like the Duel Links version, like a, like a more simplified version of the game. Uh, here we go, so now we're on the Uncommons, Rhythm of the Wild. Some crazy artwork. A lot of these cards, by the way, which I'm looking at right now, they have this, when I was into the game, they didn't have a ton of these, but they have these multi-color, so it's like both a fire land and a grassland kind of thing, or green land. We got Essence Capture, we got Combined Guild Mage, but I always love the uh, combination of the outline of the card, it's really nice. And, oh wow! Right off the bat, we got a Mythic! And a really nice land, oh my gosh! This could be worth some money, I have no idea how much this is worth, but I am gonna sleeve it into Pokemon, <laughs> I'm gonna put it in Pokemon sleeves. Uh, <laughs> but uh, let us I don't know how much it's worth, I'm gonna put the price on screen. This is a Mythic, 160 out of 259. Uh, yeah, this is a Mythic card. This is an uh, enchantment. Captive audience enters the battlefield under the control of an opponent of your choice. At the beginning of your upkeep, choose one that hasn't been chosen. Your life total becomes four. Discard your hand. Each opponent creates five two by two black zombie creature tokens. That's, this is an interesting card. Your life total becomes four and you can, you can put it in your opponent's hand and make them have four life. Although, it definitely does take a while to actually put that in your opponent's hand. And the reason why is because, wow, Mythic right off the bat, that's insane. Is because it costs, what, seven mana in total? All right, let's open more of these. But yeah, this channel isn't all just Pokemon, but the majority of it is gonna be Pokemon, right? It isn't all just Pokemon, majority of it is gonna be Pokemon. Look at, the, well, look at these little gooders on the back. I guess those are like casters, the announcers. Uh, but since I am kind of getting into Yu-Gi-Oh stuff, you guys will be seeing some Yu-Gi-Oh. Ooh, this is cool. Oh my God, Creature Devil, that's creepy. When Footlight Fiend dies, it deals one damage to any target. That's nice, this is a nice card. It's just a one mana cost, it's a one one. See, I, I like, see, the thing about opening magic cards is I look at them and I'm like, ooh, this is a nice card. With Pokemon cards, I'm slowly getting like that and with Yu-Gi-Oh cards, there's just so much text on the card. Oh, look at this, Skulligator. Or Scuttle Gator. That's cool. Uh, but yeah, since Zaw's kind of getting me into the Yu-Gi-Oh card stuff, I'm uh, slowly, slowly getting into that. Cry of the Carnarium. Gates of Blaze. And then this is our rare Glass of Guild pack. And then we got another land. These lands are really cool. They're half and half lands, which are really, really nice. And then glass of guild pack again putting the prices up on screen some of these could be worth money some of these could be worth nothing and i got this uh this bundle they were selling it for like i think 40 or 50 dollars like no joke at, at target 
And then I looked on Walmart and they were selling it for like 20 bucks and I price matched it. So I got this for 20 bucks and I thought, well, it must be the newest set since it's out and I will, uh, I'll just make a video on it. And maybe I can kind of like look at some of the cards and see if I can even make a deck from some of these cards or just, you know, get into magic a little bit more. Uh, Cause all that really matters to me with Magic the Gathering is making a deck. It doesn't matter, like the collection of the cards doesn't really matter. It's all about just making the deck. And it, it could be the same with Yu-Gi-Oh. Yu-Gi-Oh does have some cards that are collectible. I would just collect a lot of the older cards from the original generation and GX um, and maybe any cute cards. The new um, the new Duel Link style game called Speed Duels is something that I might uh, really like, but we'll, we'll see. This, this channel's full of surprises, but anyways, this is the first uncommon Scatwing Spy. Cold Guild Mage. See, I love these cards that are the multicolor cards. They look really, really nice. And when they first came out, I was like, wow, that card looks awesome. Junk Troller. Oh, what the heck? This is our rare. And then on the back, we got a land. So this is our rare, which is like a double card. This is something I have seen before, but I totally forgot that they have. You can either, I'm guessing you can either use one of these, right? You can either use Thrash or you can use Threat. This is super interesting. Very, very interesting. Let's uh, put our rare cards. We can just put them chilling right there since I don't know how much they're worth. And since I don't know how much any of these cards are worth, I am treating them with care because I know a lot of the land cards, the uncommon or even common land cards could go for some money. And um, who knows? Who knows? Who knows? I got to treat them with care. Got to treat all cards with care, except for break cards. I hate break cards. We're still, we're still, dude, there's still so many more cards to go. This bundle is definitely worth 20 bucks if you can get it for 20 bucks. If there's a target near you guys, just ask for price match and then go to the, uh, you have to go to the customer service and then they'll do the price match for you. It's like I want to do the code card. These are tokens, by the way. Basically, some of the cards, if you guys have read and I've even read, it's like, oh, put a 1-1 one, one token down. And so they used to not put tokens in packs, I'm pretty sure. They were kind of like random and now every pack has a token. And then on the back of tokens, they're kind of just like ads for, you know, artwork books or maybe a game or something. I know that Magic has a Steam game, I think. This is a cool, see any of the, the artwork right here with the, with the mix of the double colored energy is really, really cool. Wrecking Beast. You know what we haven't gotten is a holographic or a foil or whatever they have here in this game. Here we go, there's the uncommon Zerta Goblin. This is a cool looking card. Archway Angel, I had a white deck. I really, really like my white deck because it's all about kind of gaining life. And then dark decks, if it's like a vampire deck, it's stealing life or even losing your own life. Wilderness Reclamation. There's a lot of lands that you can get, which are lands that allow you to have multiple colors, which definitely will help out. And Sphinx of Foresight, definitely a weird looking card, but a 4-4 four, four Sphinx of Foresight. Uh, Sphinx of Foresight, I don't know why I said four light. That was our rare. But I can't believe the first pack was a mythic. I was like, uh, if we get a mythic, that'd be cool. But we literally just pulled the mythic right off the bat. And who knows? It, it could be a bad mythic. It could be a good mythic. And I think there are cards that are a little, like, that are kind of like, they're secret rares. And they, they also might have even, like, more rare cards than that, which are pretty cool. So let's uh, pull the card from the back. A Thopter. You are a Thought. Tur? Thopter? Is that what they're trying to go after? In this medieval age? Thought Collapse. I had a water deck as well, a blue deck. That was a, another deck. That's I think that's more of like a sorcery type of deck. I mean, I think maybe each each color, I thought each color maybe is supposed to have certain types of like specialties, but I think each color can, you can basically make their own specialty to whatever you want it to be, but they have more. Oh, these are the uncommons, by the way. Oh, and here's our rare, very nice looking rare. We have two on the back. Oh! Our first hollow and then a land. So this is our first hollow or foil or whatever this is. It is a common, but it's pretty cool looking. So you don't get them all the time, kind of like Pokemon or maybe even Yu-Gi-Oh, I don't know. This is our rare, which is a really cool looking rare. Legendary creature, Tesa Karlov. She looks awesome. So let's put the these away. I'm sure that the lands are probably worth some money. I mean, if I got this for 20 bucks, I'm sure I could make my money back. 10 packs, 15 cards, like... Yu-Gi-Oh! I don't think does 15 card packs. They might. Maybe they do 10 card packs. And I think Pokemon might do, uh, what do they do? They do 10 card packs. Pokemon does 10 card packs. We got a Spirit. Spirit! All right, we'll do one more pack and then we'll open up the Pokemon team up packs. 
Shimmer of Possibility, Storm Strike, Ring to Trial, Carry an Imp, Steeple Creeper. It's kind of weird. Under oh, this is the card that we got. Uh, just we just got Hollow of Gift of Strength, Chillbringer, Rubble Reading, and now here are the Uncommons Biogenetic Upgrade, Gateway Sneak. I love these cards. I'm telling you, these cards are just some of the coolest cards. The Combined Guild Mage, and then our rare. And a, a really cool looking uh, land there. This is our rare End Raise Forerunner. 7-7, seven, seven, but it definitely is a high cost. Vigilance, Trample, and Haste. I forgot what Vigilance does, but I think Trample, you do damage beyond the defense damage, and then Haste allows them to attack the instant they pull. We've got four more packs to go. We've got two more Pokemon packs to go. I have these Pokemon packs kind of dormant and i was like i'll just get them out so that uh we don't have people complaining we don't have people being like well you said you like pokemon better than everything else and it's like well i also like it i also like everything else you know we got a tauros a persian metal goggles pan jam dude i've opened this i've opened this set so many times all i'm looking for are the secret rares i just had these extra and i was like oh, should i open them what reason would i have to open them all right there are four magic packs left and guys Donsk Lucky Coin. Wait, we gotta gotta give it a little. Yeah, it's, it's gotta do that. It's gotta it's gotta make that like bouncing noise against the against the, Ooh, this was a nice opening, kind of. It was nice until I talked about it. Jeez. Alright. Let's try to get some more foils and maybe another mythic. Human. These are all our tokens, by the way. So in total 10 tokens, a good way to collect tokens is just opening the packs or, you know, buying them singles, which you can. I think Magic the Gathering is another one of those card games that, I feel like a lot of card games in general, it's just expensive. This is a nice card, it's a 3-1 with only a 2 cost, it's pretty nice. But yeah, I feel like uh, Magic the Gathering is another one of those card games, kind of like Pokemon, it, it just costs a lot to, you know, buy a specific deck that you want, especially a good deck. Now we're in the Uncommons, Clamor Shaman, Freeled Mystic. Sentinel's Mark, that's a cool looking card. And this is our rare, oh, we got a holographic. Oh, rare and instant unbreakable formation. Creatures you control gain indestructible until end of turn. Wow, that's a cool card. And then our holographic is a rare, let's go. Holographic rare, and that's our land. So this is a rare holographic or foil or whatever they call them. A 2-2 mutant creature. This is probably, you know, probably worth like 10 cents or something, but that's nice. All right, all right, we're doing good. I feel like I feel like these packs are are decent. I probably if I wanted to make a deck out of this specific set, I would probably, you know, buy another one of these um these boxes for 20 bucks cuz that's still such an it's just an affordable price. The normal price of I mean, the normal price of it is pretty expensive, but if you like compare it to like Walmart or Amazon, you go to Target and you're like, yeah, Amazon's selling it for 20 bucks. Why can't I get it for 20 bucks? They're like, oh, okay, 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 I'm sorry. And then they give it to you for 20 bucks. Uh, but I would buy another one of these and then look at some of the duplicates I have and then try to make a deck out of it, which it, it's totally possible. You can have a multicolored deck, especially with all the multicolored uh, cards you get. There's a lot of multicolored cards you get. All right, we're on the uncommons. High alert. You see the artwork for some of these cards are super dope. Junk Troller, we got one of those before. Essence Capture. The rare, do we have three? No, we got two. The rare is a uh, Vere? Circle? And another, oh, I'm like, what am I? <laughs> My feet was touching, so I was really creeped out. We got a Gruel Guild Gate. I think we've got one of those before. But yeah, let me know if you guys are, uh, if you guys like these other, you know, random sometimes. I mean, yeah, like I said, Pokemon's going to be the majority of all the, oh yeah, it is Wizards of the Coast. You can see right there, there's their logo. Wizards of the Coast used to make Pokemon cards, like right when Pokemon cards came out. They also, I think, make D&D &D stuff, Dungeons and Dragons stuff. But yeah, let me know if you guys like this stuff. I mean, of course, I'm more of a Pokemon channel, but I want to do other things as well. And sometimes, I, I mean, maybe in the future I can show you guys my pop collection. That's another thing that I've been wanting to do. So let me know in the comments. I know that there might not be a ton of you here, or there might be a lot of you here. Who knows? I mean, maybe it might be like, oh, a ton of people like the Magic the Gathering stuff. Continue doing that. Or, you know, who knows? I mean, 
even if you guys don't like the Magic the Gathering stuff, and if I continue wanting to do that, then I'm going to do it, because the whole point of this channel... Oh, this is a sick-looking card. A 5-5 five, five artifact creature costs no type of mana. Macbray Mockery. Our rare is Absorb, an instant. And then um, Azurius Guildgate. Pretty nice. All right, so we got two more packs left. One Sun and Moon team up and one of the Magic the Gathering stuff. But again, yeah, the whole point of this channel is to do things that I want to do. And basically what I wanted to do was I wanted to kind of catalog and also show off some of my like collecting habits, I guess you can say. And it, this was just another way for me to stop spending a, a stupid amount of money on mobile games and just kind of like enjoy physical items and make another channel and just have fun with that. So that was the whole point of this channel. All right, let's see what's on the end. Here we go. We got a Heliolois and on the back, wow, a reverse holographic Zapdos. Our pools have been pretty good with the uh, packs that we did today. They weren't bad. We got all all holographic, I think, which isn't bad. That's, that's pretty nice. All right. One more magic pack to go. Let's hope the camera can withstand it. Oh, jeez. Hopefully we get like one more mythic or one more foil. I think we only got one foil this entire time. Oh no, we got two. We got a rare foil as well. Dang, these 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 pack of cards are thick, dude. We got another spirit, so we have a ton of those. And let me know in the comments if you guys play Magic the Gathering or if you guys play the online game. I've I've noticed people like you know Smelly Octopus, one of my old friends from uh, the Kingdom Hearts community. He uh, I saw him playing this game online. And it made me miss it a lot because I, I loved playing this. This was uh, one of the cool games. And I've, I've introduced Zaw to these games. All right, we're on the uncommons. Galloping Lizrog. Oh, God. Don't listen to that. Another Cold Guild Mage. And a wow, wow, wow. On the end, a Skargan Hellkite to end it off. A mythic creature dragon to end things off. We got a mythic. Let's go. So two mythics. Two holographics. One of the holographics was a rare. I think we did pretty good. The mythics we got were these two mythics. And the cards all in all, like commons, uncommons, mythic, rares, they're all usable in decks, honestly. It just depends on the card itself. But yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. I know it was a little bit different because it was Magic the Gathering. But again, I hope I could uh, hold you over with some Pokemon cards as well. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a thumbs up and also subscribe. And this was Metal from Metal's Corner. And again, I will see you guys later. Goodbye.